scientists came up with something better than anabolic steroids. You see cows, you see immense powerful cows. Uh, they basically have changed their genes. If they could change your genes, would that be illegal? What would they do then? It just ban sports in general? Oh my lord. <laughs> when people see these, do they, the, is the first question how many hormones do you pump into them? Well, it's two comments. One would be, oh my gosh, what did you do to that thing? And secondly, it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is a Belgian blue bull. Huh? 2,600 pounds. All muscle, all natural. So tell me again, you're all natural. You're not taking anything. Dude, I think you're ready for Congress. He has a genetic mutation that allows him to grow double muscle. And scientists have figured out how to genetically alter humans the same way. Dr. Lee Sweeney is using this technology to try to cure muscular dystrophy. It's obviously going to become more and more evident that you know, what we call talent is, you know, really genetic variation. There's genetic enhancement available that might be able to, you know, give you what nature didn't give you. Trying to figure out how to do it in the, in the safest way is something that hasn't been worked out. If you find out that it's safe, you know, would you be somebody who would say, hey, I would, I'll uh, do this Yeah, I'll be first in line. Because it seems like this is the, uh, the future of sports gene doping. Gene doping, yeah. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Will gene doping ruin sports in America? I don't think so. I mean, I, I think any time there's a new technology, everyone says, OK, we have to stand back and think about what this is really going to mean to society. And I think that's the debate we will come to in the coming decades.